Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. We're going to do some practicing how to make our letter K. Let me show you our K. Here's a K. We're going to build that with our wood pieces. Here's our big K and our little K. We're going to be doing some cutting around our K's today. And here is the K if you want to make a Play-Doh K. All right, we are going to start with our wooden pieces today. So I'm going to get out my tray here. And here is my K. Now remember the different shapes, all the pieces for our letter K. Sorry, let's think about all of the wooden pieces we have to make our letters. So we've made all the letters up until K. We've made A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Those are all the letters we've made using Play-Doh and wood pieces and all the different ways we've practiced. So let's get out our wooden pieces and see which lines and curves we'll be using. Now, this is what you have in your bag. Let's remind ourselves. So we have the big C, not the big C, the big curve. We have big curves and we have some little curves. Big curves and little curves. And we have long lines and we have short lines. Now, did you notice if there were any curves in our K? Do we need a big curve to make a letter K? Nope. Do we need any little curves to make our K? Nope. All we need are lines. A long line and two short, short lines. One, two. Oops, sorry. One and two. Let's build that. There's our long line. Can you see that? Our long line. And then we just need a short line up here and a short line here, just like that. There's our letter K with our wooden pieces. Now I'm going to use my finger. So if I'm going to make a K, remember we always start our letters at the top. See where our happy face is? We always start our letters at the top. I'm going to pretend to draw one with my finger. Where do we start our letters? At the top. I'm going to go down, back to the top, and go down, 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 down. Now, I'm going to try that with my sandpaper letter. Down, 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 down. I can even practice it with a little K. Same thing. Down, 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 down. All right. I think we should practice that with one of my pens. I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick purple. And I'm going to make some K's. I think I'm going to hold it this way. And I'm going to start over here. Remember, where do we start our letters? At the top. I'm going to start at the top and go down, then back up, 
down, 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 down. You can practice these with chalk on the sidewalk, um, on your patio with chalk. You can practice with crayons or markers. You can use whatever you want. You can use your finger in salt or sand. Um, you can build these with Play-Doh. You be creative. You do it the way you'd like to do it. But this is how you make a K, and you need lots of practice. Lots and lots of practice in all of the fun ways you can think of. Because when you get to kindergarten, you're going to be doing lots of writing. You're going to do so many letters that you'll be able to create words and sentences and things will take off for you. You'll be able to write all kinds of things. So right now you need to have fun and learn and explore one letter at a time, just like we're doing it. So you keep practicing these at home. It's going to get a lot easier. Okay. I am also going to try it with a marker, sorry, with chalk. <laughs> um, Ms. Terry's gonna take a small piece of chalk and I'm gonna do some K's up. I'm gonna do one big K up here, how about that? And I'm gonna go down, down, down. There's my K. Now I'm gonna practice it on the line. So to rem remember how we talked about before, when you get to kindergarten, you're gonna to need to start practicing it on lines like this. There'll be a solid line on top, a solid line on the bottom, and then a dotted line in the middle. It'll look like this. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. So that's our big K. We won't practice the little K today, but that's what the big K is all about. All right. Now, I'm going to let you do the Play-Doh at home. So remember how we did this with some of our earlier letters. If you're not sure about how to do the Play-Doh letters, you can go back to some of our earlier letters like A, B, C, and D. There's lots of examples in those um, videos on how to make those letters on how to use the Play-Doh. So you're welcome to do that. And right now, we're going to practice some cutting. I'm going to get out my starter kit right here. And I'm going to take out a scissor. And first thing I'm going to do is I am going to do a shape around my case that I can then um, color. I'm sorry. My students are having a hard time today. I can put a shape around each of those letters that then I can cut with my scissors. Miss Terry's gonna cut with her scissors today. All right, here we go. I think today I'm gonna do a diamond. Like a kite. I drew a kite, a diamond, around each of my Ks. Now I can cut that with my scissors. Remember, thumb up. I'm gonna put my thumb in the small hole and the rest of my fingers in the bottom hole and I'm gonna snip, snip, snip with my thumb up. If, you, if your thumb's down, your hand will be um, in the wrong position. You wanna have thumb up. That's the correct position for scissoring, for cutting. Okay, here we go. Remember, I need to use my worker hand and, sorry, my helper hand and my worker hand. My helper hand will hold the paper, my worker hand will cut. Here I go. Cut, 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 snip, 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 and then I turn the paper. Turn the paper with my helper hand. Turn the paper with my helper hand. And there it is. There's my big K. And now I'm going to cut around my little K. Helper hand, worker hand, thumb up.
turn the paper. Turn the paper. All right, it's not perfect, but I did pretty good. All right, thank you for practicing that with me today. I'll see you on another day. Bye now.